Have you ever sent someone a secret message they didn't want anyone else to read? Perhaps as a kid you played around with invisible ink or mirror writing to send secret notes to your friends. Computer scientists, physicists, and mathematicians like myself like to find clever ways to send these secret messages. But we want something that's more elaborate than just mirror writing. So let's say that we start with some secret message. Uh, maybe you want to do something to it before you send it in case someone else does read it. So you want to jumble the contents around in some way, such that if someone else were to read it, they can't make any sense. This jumbling around is called encryption. You've turned your secret message into a ciphertext. Now you don't mind if anyone else reads it because they can't make any sense of it. But you want the person you're sending it to to be able to unscramble the contents very easily, while remaining hard for everyone else. And this is the science of cryptography. But maybe ask yourself, who cares if anyone reads my email from a year ago or eavesdrops on my telephone calls? Uh, but there's some information that you want to protect, say personal details, banking information, and you don't want this to be public information. And you can imagine um, governments or businesses who have to be very concerned about how they transmit their information and store their data. Modern techniques of encryption are based on mathematics, but uh, we have to be on guard for new developments in technology, such as faster computers or even quantum computers. There's very interesting developments happening here at CQT. Um, protecting our data is a growing concern nowadays because there's more and more of information being stored in the cloud or just shared digitally. As a mathematician, it's a very, very interesting field of research, and it's very nice to know that I get to have an impact on the real world.